Yeah. The rewards of self-belief have turned me into an addict. Yeah. Girls cheating, being hoes has turned me into a savage. Before I knew I What's going on, guys? Agapoka here with another video for you today. And, and today we're going to be playing some more of the Half Past Fate series. If you guys don't know, I also have a playlist for this series. So if you guys want to binge all the episodes together or just have a nice playlist that you can follow and just know whenever there's a new video out for this series, go ahead and uh, check that out in my playlist. If you guys don't know, I also stream on Twitch. So go ahead and click that link in the description below and go ahead and hit uh, give me a follow there. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. All right. Half past fate continue let's go two hours ago didn't we just play two hours ago we just played two hours ago didn't we that's odd chapter 10 two hours ago okay for sure okay yo okay okay Marlo my boy Hey Bia, what's up? I heard you had a car accident this morning. Are you okay? Jesus, dude. You good? Oh, it's nothing. It was just a flat tire. A kind stranger helped me, and I was on the road in no time. I'm glad it's not serious. When Lars told me, I was super worried. Yeah, it's all good. Lars is just being dramatic. You excited for the film game hang tonight? Taylor is cooking up food right now, and it's smelling really good. Sorry, Lamano. I can't make it this time. Tonight is my blind date, remember? Oh, yeah. That's right, I remember. Is everything alright? You sound a little down. Well, it's pretty disappointing so far. I've been waiting here at the restaurant for half an hour already. He told me he's running late, so I'm just sitting here by myself. The waiter's giving me weird looks. I'm so sorry, Bria. That really sucks. It's just, it's been a while since Matt, you know? And I figure it's time I start dating again. Wait, what happened to Matt? Don't tell me Matt died or something like that, dude. Or, or was it just like a bad breakup? Damn. That sucks. I, that, 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 get, that got me worried. Holy shit. Hopefully Matt's okay. But honestly, I'd rather watch film with you and the gang instead. Don't worry about it, Bia. There will always be uh, more film gang hangs. If you feel it's time to get out there again, you should enjoy your day. I'm sure it will turn out okay. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, Milo. I can always count on you to make things better. So what are you up to? Well, I've actually been thinking. Maybe it's about time I finally unpack all my boxes for moving. Yeah. You, yeah, you should. Oh, wait. I just noticed something. He has the picture framed. That's so nice. That's dope. That's a nice little detail, honestly. Marlo, you're still unpacking? Hasn't it been like two years? Exactly, bro. What the fuck are you doing? It's only a year and... Huh, yeah, I guess it has been two years, hasn't it? Well, I've unpacked all the important stuff that I actually use. I'm just going to take some time to go over the stuff in the attic so I can take them to the thrift store, you know? Collect moments and not things, right? Exactly. Hey, you know, maybe if your date ends early, we can go grab a drink at the Regal Seagull or something? That way you can tell me all about all about how it went. Huh, that sounds great. I really like that. I'll head over after it ends or earlier since he isn't showing up. I'll tell you when I... Uh, is that... There's some guy. I think I see my date. He has some weird costume. Anyway, I should probably go. Alright, see ya. I w <laughs> Alright, see ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Hmm. I'm so sorry. I should stop doing that. Bye. <laughs> be is on a date. Good for her. I should be happy for her. It has been a while since Matt. Now that I think of it, I, I just, I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, I should take this time to unpack those few boxes in the attic. I think there are only two left. Yo, we're playing as Milo now? That's what's up. That's what's good. We're playing as everybody in the series, aren't we? Finally playing as Milo. On chapter 10 of all times. <laughs> the door to the attic is just above here. The stuff I need to unpack is all up there. The built-in folding ladder has always been broken. I'll need to find another ladder. Yep. I know. That's why I was saying. Go pick up the other fucking ladder. Cool. I can get to the attic with this. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Alright. Now I can talk to Lars. 
Lars, what's going on? Hey, Milo, you feeling okay from the car accident this morning? It's just a flat tire, Lars. You make it sound like it's way more serious than it actually was. Flat tires are no joke. Plus, I'm so salty that you didn't think of calling me. You were literally right in front of my office. I could have just came out and helped. In the end, I had to learn about it through Taylor, of all people. Yeah, yeah. You make the connection at the time. Everything happened so fast. I'm salty, Milo. Very salty. Your best friend. Right here. Ready to help. Okay, okay. Next time I pop my tires in front of your office, you'll be the first person I call. You better. Anyway, why are you watching Kevin in the Clouds right now? I thought film game was, uh, hang I thought the film game hangout wasn't until late 30. Well, I figure since people aren't getting here for a while, I make I check to make sure that the film actually works. And here I am, 30 minutes into the film. I can't pull my eyes away. Mano, it's so good. Anyway, how about you? What are you up to? Well, we do have a couple hours to kill. I figure it's time to finally unpack those last couple boxes in the attic. See if I can take the stuff to the thrift store or something. You mean the boxes I so generously packed for you? There's tons of important stuff in there. Memorabilia. You can't get rid of that stuff. That's why I packed it. I'm really grateful for your help with the move, Lars. But it's just the college box and the Stacy box left. Uh, the Stacy. The Stacy box left. Oh, the stuff that's from Stacy, that's in the box for him. Okay. I'm sure there's a ton of stuff in there I don't need, especially in knowing you're the one who packed them. I knew this day would come eventually. Sorry, man. I'll try not to throw anything too cool. Chit chat. So, how's everything going? It's been alright, Milo. We had a big meeting today with the investor from RS. It was super stressful. Mara thinks it went badly. Apparently, the coffee maker broke during the middle of the presentation and RSVP got covered in coffee. I see. What's ours? I talked to Jade and Andy about the meeting and it sounds like Andy thought it went fine. <laughs> Jade, though, she's hilarious. She thought uh, she thought of this plan to help Mara get more face time with the investor. Hmm. Who's Jade? You won't believe this, but Jade overheard Cade talk. Uh, Kay talked to Anna about how Rinden uh, has this blind date tonight. So Mara decided to go crash the date and try and get a better pitch opportunity in. Oh wow, I have no idea what's going on. Who's Kate? Anna? So I guess we'll see if she pulls it off. Sounds pretty crazy. The most embarrassing part of all this though is that before Aris people showed up, there was this random guy off the street that came in here. And I thought he was the RSVP. I almost started pitching Nanavol to a random homeless guy. How hilarious is that? He wasn't homeless, man. He he was. Y'all, you can't be that mean to Jaren, bro. Like, come on. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. Okay, Lars, I should probably get back to cleaning up my boxes. Yeah, go clean up your junk, Marla. That's way more room. For <laughs> that way, there's way more room for me to collect more stuff. For sure. Kevin in the clouds. Looks like Lars is watching Kevin in the. The clouds, I love that movie. Hey, can you move? Oh, sorry. Oh, shit, man, my bad. It's a collection of my roommates' books, movies, and games. I keep most of my stuff in my room. Yeah. What do you think about yourself? I guess I'm pres presentable. God damn it, Milo. Oh, she's in the kitchen, yo. Alright, uh, I want to talk to her first. Usual, it's usually my job to take out the trash. Taylor always worries about foods, uh, a lot about foods and diet. Despite me spending all my time researching food these years, Taylor is actually the one who knows how to cook a good meal. If it wasn't for her, we'd all be having instant noodles every day. That's the life of a post-college and college student. Until you actually learn how to cook. I just put a taco in the toaster once. It didn't, it didn't work like he thought it would. Yeah, I don't think it would. Is that white paint on her nose? Hey, bud. Doing okay after the car thing this month? Uh, yeah, I'm alright. It's no big deal. I was actually planning to take this time to unpack those last couple boxes of mine in the attic. Wow, about time. It only took you, what, two years? It's just a couple boxes left. I figure I finally get it done. I finally got around to putting... All my winter stuff in the attic recently. You can just shove it aside if you need to get around up there. Chit chat. So, has anything been going on with you? Not really. I'm hoping to get this through. Uh, I'm hoping the soup will be ready in time for our film night. I see. Well, it smells good. Awesome. Were you using white paint? Lars? Ugh. You know what? I'm not going to talk about it. Talk about what? 
Nope, not talking about it. What's up, Milo? I'm asking about food. What are you making? I'm finally taking a stab at making a stew be doo be doo. It's my dad's secret stew recipe. Secret stew recipe. So it's got a secret ingredient then. Duh. Don't bother asking what it is. I'll never tell. I wasn't going to. Okay. I can't hold it in anymore. It's carrots. Aren't carrots pretty in common? A pretty common ingredient in stews? Is that really a secret? When I was a kid, I refused to eat carrots, so my dad wouldn't tell me they were in stew. He would just say it's a secret ingredient. It worked. I always ate all my bowl whenever he, we had stewby dooby doo, carrots and all. I was really young, so I didn't know the difference, especially when the carrots got mushy and all the good stew flavor. Someday I'm gonna have kids that hate, like broccoli or something, and I'm gonna make my own stewby dooby, <laughs> stewby dooby doo. I bet your dad would be proud. Yeah. Now, ask about the incident. Wait, so what happened with you and Lars? I told you, I'm not going to talk about it. <sighs> All right, never mind. I'll get on with my boxes. What's up? What's about what the what, what what the fuck did you do, Taylor? So exactly what happened between you and Taylor when I was out? Don't ask me. We don't have Q-tips in the house anymore. Uh, what? Q-tips? Lars looks traumatized. What's up, Milo? Never mind. I'm gonna go. Taylor, you gotta ex explain the Q-tips to me, okay? Explain, just explain the Q-tips to me at least. Q-tips? So, uh, what's the deal with Q-tips? Get out of my kitchen. Okay. Yo, it's Jody. Yeah, Jody. Jody's waiting for the washer. It's a good thing I don't have to do laundry today. Hey, Jody. Doing some laundry? Yep. Every week, whether my clothes need it or not. <laughs> How responsible of you. What are you up to? I'm going to go through those last few boxes of money in the attic. Oh, awesome. I just did that with my boxes a few weeks back. Very cleansing. So what's new, Milo? Uh, well, I learned how to change the tire this morning. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Well, you see... That's not quite what I heard, Milo. Word on the street is that a tall, handsome stranger swooped in and changed your tire. And you just stood there watching the whole time. I've got a box to find. <laughs> Good luck. Q-tips? Okay, so I know something happened and I know it had to do with Q-tips. Alright, fine. But you didn't hear it from me. Right before you got back, Lars was using some of Taylor's Q-tips to paint some of those little finger uh, figurines of his miniatures well you know how Lars is he ended up putting a bunch back into the original package like a goof Taylor picked out most of them but Lars also used some white paint oh is that why Taylor's nose is yeah well imagine Taylor running around the house butt naked chasing Lars with the flip <laughs> so that's how we learned that Taylor sometimes is <laughs> Sometimes uses Q-tips in her nostrils. Q-tips. That should do it. Okay. Which one's... Okay, well, there's one that says Stacy. Oh, there's a lot of stuff up here. More than I expected. I wonder where my boxes are. I mean, this one is yours for sure. A bunch of boxes. Let's see. Where's my box of college stuff? Lars carried my box up here for me. He might remember what it looks like. Terry moved some things up here recently. Maybe she knows which boxes are hers and which ones aren't. Jordy organized the attic recently. Maybe she's seen it. I can't tell which one is my college box. I should see if my roommates can give me more information. I gotta ask all of them though. Now I gotta go ask them some more stuff. What's up, Milo? What about the college box, bro? Hey, I'm having trouble following my college box in that. Do you know which boxes are yours? Oh, sure. My boxes are all of the ones from Yugo with the green logo on them. They were cute, so I got a whole bunch. So why isn't Bia coming for the film gang? Ha uh, the film gang hangout tonight. Bia has she has a date tonight. She's out on a date? Yeah, she started dating again. And you're okay with that? Of course. Why wouldn't I be? 
I'm really happy for her. I'm glad she's getting over Matt. I know. You. I just. Ugh. Milo, I've known you for years, and one of these days you'll finally see what we're all seeing. I'm fine, Taylor. Thanks for the help on the boxes. Let me know if there's anything else that could help. Uh, help. Have you tried asking Jody? She organized a whole attic not too long ago. She might remember seeing your box. Lars might be able to help. Didn't he help you pack? Maybe he remembers what boxes look like. For sure. Okay. I'll ask Lars first. Then I'll ask Jody. What's up? College box. I can't find my college box in attic. You were the one who put it up there, right? Uh, did I not label it? I don't think so. Do you remember anything about the box that might help me figure out which one it is? Hmm, it's been a while. I think it was one of the white boxes. That's about it. Sorry. Maybe ask Jody. She organized. Okay. Cool. Cool. Whatever. Lars, you're no hope. When you organized the attic, the attic, did you see my college box? I did. I figured you had already gone through it and left it up there for safekeeping. I haven't gone through it yet. I might keep a lot of what is in there, but I know there's a bunch of stuff I want, I would want to get rid of. That makes sense. Well, I put the college box near the old bed frame. I don't remember exactly where. If I'd known, if I had known, you still needed to go through it. I wouldn't have shut it so far back. It's no problem. Thanks for your help. No prob. Cool. Thank you, Jody, the helpful one. Also, what the? This is Taylor's room. <laughs> Taylor's room. It smells weird. This is Jody's room. Very tidy and well decorated. And I'm guessing this is Lars's room. It's where he stores his huge collection of tabletop war game figurines. Nice. Lars got this picture of a horse from the thrift store. It's a great picture of a horse. Most of these are textbooks from school. A few of my favorite novels. Uh, a few of my favorite novels are here too. This is the picture that we took at the horse housewarming party when I moved back in. After I fucking told y'all. I was really down then, and despite finishing my documentary, I felt like I was going backwards and starting over. Be organized the whole picture just to cheer me up. Having it in my room is a nice reminder of even though everything seemed so bleak, I had my friends to prop me back up. It's an important moment to me. I should show it to her when she arrives. Nice. My laptop. I should probably back this up more often. Yeah, probably. Alright, cool, 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 cool. Alright, white box shoved in the back next to the bed frame. So it's not any of those, they said it's near the bed frame, so it's around here somewhere. Oh, this must be it. Let's see. Here's a birthday card from my parents. Textbook from economics class. Some comic book posters I'm too embarrassed to hang up. Oh, this is the photo that Bia took of me in front of that statue in the park. This is what the day that Bia and I met. After I agreed to have this picture taken, Bia helped me out with my film. That's how we became friends. We worked on that film together all through college. I was going to submit it to the film festival contest, but then we graduated and Stacy and I moved away. I flew home didn't really go anywhere after that. I didn't have the motivation to do it by myself. And Stacy, well, I should show this to Bia. She would get a kick out of it. Nothing else? I still need to empty out my Stacy box. Oh dear. My Stacy box. She has all the stuff from when I was engaged. I should actually get rid of this stuff. It's been two years. I'll just take the box to the thrift store. Maybe someone else can build better memories with them. You know what they say, one man's trash. Well, I should go through it first and get rid of anything a thrift store wouldn't want. Sometimes one man's trash is also another man's trash. I should use the garbage bag from the kitchen to hold all the junk. Alright. Where can I get some more trash bags? I'm no architect, but th I get the feeling this corner would have been designed better. It's co it is cozy though. There's no, there's no here. Please stop making pudding. The fridge is so full of pudding. There's a lot of cleaning stuff down here. Some trash bags, sponges. 
I'm gonna need a bag to all the stuff I'm taking to the thrift store. Awesome. Got the bag. Let's get on with it, my boy. Alright. I don't remember exactly what's in here. Yep, this is all the thrift store. <laughs> this is all thrift store material. A teddy bear I got for Stacy that she never liked. A belt she got me. I didn't even wear belts. Oh wow. The Dory took a stuff from the Phil's Festival. It's amazing we managed to watch it. They were sold out f for weeks before the show. Bea was the one who found them for us. I still remember Bea standing by the side of the street that day when we arrived. And how bad I was in uh, introducing people. Bea obviously had no idea Stacy was coming. She played it really cool though. Bea was always so good at talking to people, being sociable. Anyway, I can't get rid of these. Bea must have had a really hard time getting a hold of them. It's a good memory. I think uh, I think the rest of this is junk. Glad I went through it. I would have accidentally got rid of. I would have accidentally gotten rid of th these tickets. I should use the trash bag for the rest of some of the rest of the stuff. There's a lot left in here that no self-respecting. Uh, there's a lot left in here that no self-respecting thrift store would take. All right. Let's see, what can I throw away? Some torn books, old receipts, a box of chocolates, <laughs> chocolates that went bad years ago. Gross. Oh, a lot of this isn't even worth taking to the thrift store. I'll just put it in, uh, put it in this trash bag. That's it, everything else in here goes to the thrift store. I guess the Stacy chapter is finally over. Two years later, I can finally say I'm over here. That's good. Oh, for sure. Alright. Ding dong. Oh, you're already here? That was fast. Why didn't you just ring the doorbell? I don't know. This seemed more fun. Alright, I'll be right down. I have some things I want to show you. You would love the stuff I found. Such good memories. Oh my god. Ah, look at that. Oh, this is so amazing. I'm excited for this. Why am I excited for this? I don't know. It, it, it's just so cute. Uh, let me... Goodbye, Stacy. Well, I still need to take the box to the thrift store, but it's a good first step. There you go. <laughs> Damn. The trash of the con is goodbye, Stacy. Know your fucking place, trash. Hey, Milo. Hey, you're here really early. Are you okay? Yeah, everything's fine. You want to come in? Um, actually, maybe we could just talk here for a bit? Yeah, of course. Milo, I... There's something I want to show you. Oh yeah? What is it? So I was going through my old boxes today and... Oh my gosh, you still have this? It's almost been a decade. It's the day I met one of my best friends. Of course I still have it. I probably seemed a bit pushy back then, didn't I? To get you to pose like that. Well, maybe a little, but I'm glad you did it. Because after that, you helped me with my project. Stacy never helped me, but you ended up pushing me forward. More importantly though, even after the project, you were always there for me. We worked together in class, hung out outside of class. And you ended up becoming my best friend in life. And this picture, well, I'll keep it forever because it's a memory of you. Wow, Milo, I don't know what to say. Remember these? They're the tickets you gave me at the Sunset Film Festival? Wow, yeah, I remember. It was at least four years ago. You still have them? Of course. After I moved away, we didn't get a chance to spend time like we used to. I remember how much I was looking forward to seeing you again. I honestly don't even know how you managed to find these tickets, but then you gave them to Stacy and me. You didn't even get to see the movie. I didn't mind. I was there to see Jody film anyway. I was glad you guys had, it, had a good time. Still, it was, well... It meant a lot to me. I want you to know that. Milo, I, I'm sure you would have done the same. Remember this? Of course, it's the photo from your housewarming party. That's when you first moved here. It's been two years. Seems like such a long time now. Yeah, I was really down that day. 
I had to move in with the gang because Stacy and I, well, you know, and you went out of your way to make this memory. It ended up being an awesome party. It meant a lot to me then, and it still means a lot to me now. Do you know, I keep this picture on my bookshelf. When I look back on that day, I don't remember being sad. I remember what great friends I have, like you. God, I'm gonna cry. Fuck that, no. <laughs> Milo, thank you. That's really sweet. Sophia, I, I realized I was going through my boxes that you have been a really important part of my life. We have known each other for eight and a half years. You have always been there for me. You're literally my best friend. You always have been and always will be. I guess what I'm trying to say is thank you. I'm really happy to have you in my life. I'm just really grateful for you. I want to always have you in my life. Milo, are you asking me out? <laughs> What? I... That's not what I... I was trying to, uh... But, actually... <laughs> no, I wasn't trying to ask you out. Unless... Uh... Yeah, I guess. Bia, yeah, do you want to... Go out with me? I would love to, Milo. I thought you would never ask. I thought I would have to ask you. I guess I beat you to it, huh? So, um... Do you still want to go to the Regal Seagull? It can be our first date. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Come on, let's go. Oh man, I have to tell you about the blind day I just had. Alright, so what happened? It was so weird. Well, to start off, he showed up wearing a fedora and sunglasses and a Santa beard. What? No way. <laughs> oh man. Memories. Ten hours ago. Chapter 11. Chapter 11. Alright. Man, that's... That's heartwarming right there. <laughs> I love that so much. That's awesome. Alright guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. Holy shit, they're finally together. Finally. After eight and a half goddamn motherfucking years. They're finally freaking together. That's so amazing. Finally. Alright, it's so the first uh, story that we get to see the conclusion of. The first, uh, the last story we were introduced to in the first story we get to see the conclusion of. That's awesome. I like that a lot. But yeah, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. Let me know what you felt like, uh, what you felt in the comments, like how you felt about the whole thing, like the opus of it all coming together. Just amazing, right? <laughs> but yeah, just go ahead and leave that comment below. Leave a like on the video if you liked it, dislike it if not. And uh, yeah, remember to subscribe to subscribe to me here on YouTube. Hit that link in the description and follow me on Twitch. And yeah, look forward to the last two episodes of this series coming out soon. Till next time, guys. See you later. <laughs>